and welcome to my channel. My name is Marlies and today we're going to work in my plastic uh, planner. Uh, I made a journal out of it for Corey and you can uh, visit her YouTube channel. Her name is Corey Creating with Scraps. In my previous two videos I created the cover of a plastic planner. I covered it with some papers and a belly band and in my second video I covered the inside of the cover also with some papers, labels and ephemera. But today we are going to concentrate on the inside of this um, plastic planner and we are going to create a journal page. In the beginning of this video you could see my structure. I'm working on a brownish colored uh, planner page. On top of that I would like to adhere these papers. I prepare these papers with some distress ink vintage photo on the edges and also stained a little bit on top of the papers. For gluing down I will use the distress collage medium matte. Just spread an even layer of the collage medium on the back of those uh, pieces of paper and glue them down. I'm going to give the paper a good and firm rub because when there are any air bubbles underneath you will push them out by rubbing it. The excess that you have you can tear it off with a ruler and just with your hands or take a scissor and cut it off. I always like it when my work has some contrast in there. Um, I'm going to use this black and white label tape from Tim Holtz and as soon as you stick it down you can see the black is really popping and gives contrast immediately. That also goes for this piece of film strip ribbon from Tim Holtz. It also has a, a darker tone in it. I will glue it down already on the dark um, areas and not on the transparent areas and I will stick it down and while I am holding it down uh, for a little bit longer and I will use those uh, cute little weights that I have on the left side of me just to keep it in place for a short while. While the page is drying on the side I can already focus on my focal point and I am going for this uh, photo, the photo Matic from the new ideology 2023 and I'm going to rough it up a little bit to give it an aged look. So I use my paper distressor to roughen up the edges and I also put on some ink, the distress ink vintage photo. I also wet uh, down some of the ink and just to give it a little bit of staining. I searched in my stash for some paper ephemera pieces uh, that could go very well uh, on this project. So I got out uh, some numbers, some tickets, uh, some labels, also uh, some remnant rubs that you can see over here. And I have also a stamped um, like a word or number on just a blank piece of paper that I um, roughened up a bit and gave it a distressed look with the vintage photo. And so I am gathering my supplies that I think will be a great match on this page. And besides paper, ephemera and the remnant rubs, you can also think about adding some tape. The paper that I put on top of the page is quite clear and blank. I want to add a little bit uh, more to that. So I cut out this strip of paper, stained it and of course also inked the edges. And I will put it up there just to make it more interesting and not just only a neutral colored uh, ledger paper. Uh, yeah, so more interest. Before gluing this piece to the top I want to make sure the edges are rough. So there comes in the paper distressor and just a little bit of ink to ink it up again. And yeah it's just for an aged and worn look. For the gluing down part I am using the Tim Holtz collage medium. When I glued this piece on the top of the page my eyes were caught by the middle section of the page. It is quite brown and neutral. I do not like that so I'm going to adhere some Tim Holtz design tape. Thank you. 
Let's take a closer look to uh, a, a kind of layout that we like for this page. So I'm shuffling some bits and pieces around and trying some uh, labels and paper ephemera, the photo. Um, yeah, it's just about uh, playing and trying and seeing which uh, position of which piece of ephemera will look best to you. What I also would like to point out that when your ephemera is a little bit too big to your liking, do not be afraid and just cut it into the right size. Um, and it does not matter if you will not um, use like the, the excess that you cut off, but sometimes also those little pieces are very cute to use. You can also see that I changed my mind about a couple of ephemera pieces in which position. And of course, in this stage of creating, you can still adjust until you are happy. What I said about cutting your ephemera, you can also do that with the remnant rubs. I mean, this was a long strip of numbers and I thought it would be more interesting to make uh, like two rows of numbers. And of course, um, yeah, just cut it into the right size and even offset it a little bit on the side and cut off any excess. That is all okay. That means no word or row of numbers have to be perfect, even if the remnant drop is half on, that is also great and aged. And now, when you are sure about the placements of your ephemera pieces, you can glue them down. I am also going to glue this piece on top of the photomatic uh, photo. Uh, I mean, I want it layered. And a little accent is to staple it down with the tiny attacher. This piece of random drop is perfect for adding contrast, so that is also the reason why I place it uh, quite very well noticeable in the middle. And it will be a little layered just underneath the photo and under the label. The next phase of this video is me assembling this journal page, so I will give you, um, of course, a piece of the video with some nice music under it. Enjoy! For some last finishing touches, I will use this stamp. It is from the Mini Glitch stamp set from Tim Holtz. And I really love this grid stamp. And it's just adding some interest in the background on some clear spaces. 
this was it for today guys i hope you enjoyed my video and got some inspiration out of it maybe some new ideas for your own journal page um, well when you like the video please give a thumbs up leave a comment or subscribe to my channel bye have a great day